Bill, as we wrap up this half hour, what surprises you from last night if you look at election night as a whole? Uh, <clears throat> a couple things. One, that you saw former wedge issues like minimum wage increase and voter ID. There were wedge issues by both parties. Literally, both of those issues catapulted to, uh, uh, I mean, huge numbers with the same voter behind mm -hmm. him. Uh, so I think that's a real change in how we look at politics here in Arkansas. Trump's probably the catalyst behind that change. Second thing is, is that you saw incumbents on the House of Representatives side defeated in both, both R's and D's, longtime incumbents. And so for folks who press the term limits issue and things like that, I would just point to the fact that, you know, uh, we do have them. They're called elections and they happen every two years. Um, that, I think, is a, is a big issue that will be reverberating in the Capitol today, I promise you. Bill Vickery is not going anywhere. Uh, Bill, thank yes. you so much. We appreciate that. Thank Weather you. on the Force now with meteorologist Pat Walker. Pat. All right, good morning, guys. Well. Take a look at our crane team weather pack number four today. We're talking about the crane team weather pack number going down throughout the day at two this morning because we're probably going to have a wet commute for many of us, especially down in South Arkansas where the rain is typically going to be the heaviest. A 30% chance of rain at seven o'clock in Little Rock, decreasing cloud cover and rain really wrapping up by mid morning. Temperatures from the lower 50s into the upper 50s and eventually even a high of 60 this afternoon. It's 51 in Little Rock now, Searcy's 51, Russellville's 52, Hot Springs at 54, and Pine Bluff at 52. It's 56 in Monticello, but when this rain that's now moving into Bradley County, moves into Monticello. The temperature will drop in Monticello. In Little Rock, south of I-30, we have some, uh, some light showers. Also back to Benton and East End, some rainfall. Uh, uh, north of I-40, though, it looks like things are dry in Pulaski and in Lone Oak counties. There are some showers, though, uh, toward the northwest. Going to look at those in just a second. But look at this rain. Right now, four dies coming out of Calhoun County into Bradley County and also into uh, uh, Cleveland County. Boy, four dice over to Kingsland and eventually maybe rising getting rising is getting heavy rain now, but that thunderstorm is going to be really close there too. And, and also more thunderstorms coming out of Columbia County into Union County too. And of course, back up to the northeast Arkansas, lighter showers and a little light rainfall around Petty Jean Mountain and around Moralton and moving into Conway too. Well, all right, a rain chance from 7 o'clock on, we're just a 30% chance of rain in Little Rock, 60 degrees or high tomorrow, much cooler, just a high of 52. Some rain possible in the morning and also some tomorrow evening going into Friday morning. And Friday will be a breezy, cool day as well with really cold air coming in Friday night. That's your weather the forest. Now, let's uh Your bus stop forecast on KARK4 today is sponsored by UAMS. Hi, I'm John Dean. At Dean Dental Solutions, our mission is to keep your teeth healthy and beautiful for life. A healthy smile is what we call living well. Schedule an appointment today and live well with Dean Dental Solutions. It's time to start training for the 2019 Little Rock Marathon. Get yourself ready for the invasion. <laughs> training for the Little Rock Half Marathon now. Sign up at LittleRockMarathon.com. It'll be out on this 